Hi friends, welcome to my new channel called Let's Get Lit. This is a platform where I wish to talk to you all about matters related to culture, politics and literature. For more about the channel, please watch the first video in our homepage. Today, I wish to talk about the controversy that surrounds the awarding of uh, Nobel Prize for Literature to uh, the Austrian writer Peter Hanke. Peter Hanke has always been at the center of controversy due to his shocking political stance. But before going into his uh, politics and uh, controversies, I would like to briefly discuss his uh, famous works. His works include Offending the Audience, uh, which is a play and the Gollies anxiety at the penalty kick which might be familiar to my um, Keralite audience because it's uh, referenced in N.S. Madhavan's famous short story Higwita. His another work of prominence is A Sorrow Beyond Dreams. However, as I said before in this video, I will not be concentrating on his uh, achievements or writings, rather the controversy that has clouded the award. The Swedish Academy's citation to Hanke says that he was awarded for an influential work that with linguistic ingenuity has explored the periphery and the specificity of human experience. However, the award has been widely criticized by international bodies such as PEN America and writers like Salman Rushdie as well as politicians across uh, the Western Hemisphere. So why is Hanke a controversial figure? What has he done to evoke the ire of so many people and organizations? This particular award came under a lot of controversy due to the writer's anti-minority pro-Serbian politics. He had famously denied the Srebrenica genocide, which took place uh, right after the um, referendum for independence in, within Yugoslavia, the slate of Yugoslavia, which is uh, also referred to as the Bosnian War of Independence. He was once even called uh, the international moron of the year by the renowned writer Salman Rushdie for his apologetic stance towards the war criminal president of Serbia at the period, Slobodan Milosovic. His defense of the Serbian stance towards Bosnians and other minorities uh, seeps into his works of fiction as well. One of his Serb characters infamously remarked, You know it was we who protected you from the Asian hordes for centuries, and without us you would still be eating with your fingers. While one may argue that this is a work of fiction, Hanke has openly and unabashedly claimed that the Sarajevo Muslims who, killed, who were killed during the genocide had actually killed themselves uh, to frame the Serbs. It's important at this juncture to briefly discuss about what had conspired in Yugoslavia at the time of this genocide. The state of Yugoslavia disintegrated uh, through a series of civil wars and referendums in the 1900s. It was in 1992 when a referendum was passed in favor of independence uh, and the new Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina was recognized by the international community. At this time, the Serbian government under Slobodan Milosevic, supported by the army and the Bosnian Serb forces, attacked the newly formed state to secure the areas that were of Serb majority. In the attack, the non-Serb minority, especially the ethnic Albanians of the region, had to undergo gruesome ethnic cleansing. Despite several indictments and convictions by the uh, international community in this regard, Hanke denies the existence of this said ethnic cleansing and had time and again defended his friend and former president of Serbia, Sobodan Milosevic, a convicted war criminal. He even went on to attend the latter's funeral, claiming that the truth of the matter, that is, the matters relating to the authenticity of uh, the genocide, is unknown, while Serbia and Milosevic remain close to himself. However, uh, the Swedish Academy has until now remained unapologetic. The Academy's permanent 
secretary told the New York Times that it's not Academy's mandate to balance literary quality against political considerations. This somewhat curious statement comes right after a year when the Academy itself had to face a series of non-literary controversies and was mired by the Me Too scandal that ripped apart the inner circles of the organization. Can a body such as the Swedish Academy stay aloof from political considerations? Would the Academy have made the same statement against the criticism regarding the Academy's Eurocentric and anti-women choices for the past 120 years? These are some questions that will go unanswered in, and will have to be answered in the due course of time. Please do share your thoughts and comments uh, in this regard in this comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you wish to receive notification regarding future postings in this channel, please press the bell icon as well. A detailed note on the matter discussed today will be found in the description below. Have a good day.